I'm Ryan Hall, Harbour Master at the Port of London Authority. So Ryan, Port of Lon London Authority, if you can just give me a rundown. I'm someone who's lived in London my whole life, but what is it? So the Port of London Authority is an authority established to look after the, the tidal Thames. Um, we look after the estuary all the way up to Teddington and we ensure safety of navigation and protect the River Thames, promote the River Thames and improve use of the River Thames. So with this project that you see behind us, how have the Port of London Authority been involved in that process? We were engaged at the very beginning of the planning stages to make sure that the project could be delivered by water. Um, Fulham Football Club came to us and said, can we deliver or can we take the, um, the trusses and the building stage off of the roads? Can we be good for our community? Can we be good for our neighbours? So can we do this by river? The planning stage started probably five or six years ago and we were engaged at the very beginning to make sure we're here today for the final trust delivery. So the final trust delivery, as you say, it's a big milestone moment for us here today. With many of the trusses, well, all the trusses making their way from Tilbury to here, just how pivotal has the river, obviously it's been essential in the building process that's been going on. Exactly, every single truss has been delivered by a barge and by tug from Tilbury. So delivered to Tilbury up, up river, has taken hundreds of lorry movers off the roads. It's kept emissions much lower through central London. And it's been able to mean that delivery schedules have been tightly met. If you imagine bringing some of these huge trusses through central London on a flatbed lorry, the closures, the disturbance, the, the issues it would cause would be huge. Along with the Tideway Tunnel, this is a trailblazer event. Bringing projects to the river and making projects come alive by using the blue water space is first of its kind and it's amazing to see this happening and taking shape today. I think we have to be really proud of the fact that all these deliveries have happened safely by river and off of the roads. Taking, you know, allowing school kids to get to, to school safely, allowing people to move around London freely, as, as I said earlier, without being disrupted by huge trusses being moved by flatbed lorry. The noise will be much better for local um, communities and local neighbours that live here. The noise from the riverside won't impact those that live on the other side of the um, Fulham Football Stadium. The fact that the river's been used to lessen the damage or, or the impact on the local residents, could this almost be used as a, as a blueprint for other people in terms of how essential the river can play in a part in such in buildings such as this? Certainly. I think the Port of London Authority, or the, the PLA, would love to see the river used for more activities and more construction work like this. We've worked in hand with uh, Thames Tideway Tunnel, which is one of the London's massive super sewer. That was one of our massive um, first construction projects, and this is now one of the sporting ones that's come to the river, and the river really has brought it to life and made it feasible. And obviously now with the the landmark that we see behind us rising up from the banks of the Thames, it's another landmark that's going to be a part of London in terms of uh, sitting alongside the river. How many other projects are there like this going on at the moment? There aren't many projects at the moment going like this. There are lots of various different piers being built. There are lots of various different sporting activities taking place. This is a huge construction site that's taking place in a very small footprint of the Blue River. And um, it, the, as I said, the trust deliveries here have all been enabled by tug and tow. And I caught up with a, a colleague who was part of the construction process in terms of management of the transport from Tilbury to here. Just managing those tides, it's, it's a really unique challenge for all these different parts and facets, isn't it? It's an incredibly tight challenge. If you think there are probably 15 to 20 bridges that the trusses have to circumnavigate or navigate underneath to get here. So not only have to take tides into account to make sure the tug can get here on the lowest tide or the, or the right amount of water, but also the, the truss height fits underneath the bridges. And some of these bridges are pretty... Um, vocational for London you know if you think about Tower Bridge, London Bridge, Westminster Bridge they're incredible landmarks in itself that these trusses had to pass underneath to get here. And obviously you're talking about landmarks this is going to be a landmark for years to come sitting along the Thames isn't it? This is going to be a great man landmark for years to come and it will be seen in the river every year at the annual boat race when that takes place back on the river. I think every time Fulham, uh, Fulham fans come back to the stadium they'll see how part of the river this has become and how organic it is in the river environment.